You're going to love this. Trust me. <laughs> What's he doing? I'm Gil Games. Hello. And today, I want to show you how to modify your equipment with Cheat Engine. Hit up the Council of Conservers Discord, invite in the description, and pop into the mod gallery for hacks. First, we'll need Cheat Engine. The Cockboys recommend using 7.2 because it doesn't come with adware in the installer. Since this warns you and mentions trust, I wanted to take a moment to include some clips of the download in the files. The post mentions an installer, but there isn't one, and if you're like me, any kind of discrepancy is a bit of a red flag. By the way, shout out to Winrar. It's too easy to take for granted. Hashtag not spawn. Then, grab the cheat table, Xanima Hacks R14.ct, Thundercloud React to the post, and open the hacks with Cheat Engine. Warning. Back up your save. Oh snap, dog, good idea. It's real easy to permanently mess yourself up. My save has this door here forever as a monument to my hubris. Your saves are in app data, roaming, Xanima, and you want the .rsgs. Launch Xanima and point Cheat Engine at it. What Cheat Engine does is modify data in memory, and these cheat tables are collections of scripts that find or modify data while they're on, and these boxes toggle them on and off. Engage the hacks. We want the editor, and we want to edit some selected apparel. You can select apparel by clicking on it in-game so the window appears. When you look at Cheat Engine, you can see the name of the item you selected. Visually, apparel are made up of parts, which contain data for material, design, and colors. You can see that part 1 of my doublet C has a color of 211. We can modify this data by toggling on our overwrite and changing the value. Part 1 is usually the main color, so I'll change the cosmetic material to shiny steel plate, and change the color to white. Then stop overwriting. If I equip my doublet C, we can see this main body has turned white and metallic, but it could be shinier. I'll make it top quality and factory fresh. Whoa, looking good. I like that so much. I'm going to do my hat too. Clean it up a bit. Get that steel plate on there. Nice. You can get pretty elaborate if you have the patience. Items each have data for many parts and more elaborate items tend to have more parts. The doublet we're playing with has data for four parts, and you can see there's nothing where the fifth part would be. To know which part is which, you'll have to be willing to poke around. Let's make part two of my doublet purple to go with my hat. Another thing you might want to do is produce a specific item. The first thing we need for that is the item's ID, which we can get from the arcane table of items. Paste the URL and we're in. You can't produce apparel from thin air. You have to transform something else. I want this plate armor and I'll make it out of this tunic by changing the template ID to that of a plate armor and exit the game. On load, the game checks the template ID and generates the item. Since my tunic already had some apparel information, my new armor still has it like the name being tunic, the green cloth, and the inept arena requirement, meaning I can wear it in inept matches. To get factory settings apparel items, we can use weapons since they have no apparel information to retain. Use the non-specific selected ground item, select in-game, change the ID, toggle off, and my dagger is now plate armor. The model will update when the item interacts with your inventory. You may be thinking, that's cool and all, Professor, but it's not like I've got infinite weapons. The editor has a selected character script. You can select yourself with a double click, and we see our name in Cheat Engine. Naked Punching Man Gil. Yep, that's me. Referring to the table of items, I'll get the value for Ramal, and overwrite whatever's in my right hand, with that value. Close and open the inventory to refresh, and behold, Sewer Mall and Arena. Since I left the overwrite on, if I drop the hammer, Cheat Engine will immediately create another one in my hands. And another. And another and effortlessly create enough for whatever you want to do. The last thing I want to talk about today is escaping bounds and exploring arenas for fun. The God Hand script lets you interact with most things, including yourself. With this power, you can jerk yourself over fences and such, or freeze time, and calmly lift yourself over. There appear to be limits to where you can put yourself, so like most everything, you'll have to experiment to get the most out of it. This has been Gilgames Hello. Goodbye.